Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pete, once again, and I've got an idea for a uh, fat kid for the uh, <clears throat> dry bar that you were thinking about doing. I really like that space. Um, it's kind of cool, and I like the recessed lighting above, and it's it's just a neat little space. So what I had in mind for, uh, for the dry bar was doing a, um, from wall to wall, a thick piece of concrete on top so the concrete would be like that and it would be encased in a thick piece of cherry so this would be a piece of cherry and inside with borders would be a thick piece of concrete and so it would be built like that right um, <clears throat> and then when the concrete is poured the uh, as it's setting you could put inside of the concrete um, this is it just like as a cavity so you, you pour your concrete and then inside the concrete I would put some magnets in like two spots and what the magnets would do would be um, when <clears throat> when you when it dries you wouldn't see them and it'd be like a nice creamy shiny dark colored pour so inside there would be magnets and then I would make for the the bar I would make a bucket for wine and the bucket I would do with the same kind of principle, it would be like, this is the th from the top looking down into the bucket. So it would be like, you know, like that. So the bucket would be hollow when it's built. And then inside I would use some spray foam. And what the spray foam would do would be to make it um, insulated. And then on the inside part of it, I would use a lot of um, lacquer or polyurethane, like six or seven layers so it's waterproof, and then put a magnet in the bottom, you know, like down there, so when you set it on the bar, it stays in place, and then I would do a cutting board the same way. I'd make a really nice um, cutting board out of, you know, a hardwood, like, uh, like hickory or something like that, and the cutting board would have a magnet so that when you're cutting lemons or whatever you're doing for your drinks, um, the cutting board wouldn't shift on the, the wood, which is always annoying, or I'm sorry, on the concrete, it wouldn't like wiggle when you're cutting. So it would be firmly, you know, situated wherever you'd want it to be. So <clears throat> this would be really nice wood and it would go from wall to wall. So <clears throat> it would either be anchored in through here um, or the whole piece could be on wheels. And I always like that idea for basements, um, just in case there's ever some kind of problem with water, it would be off the ground. So either sink it custom into the walls so that it's off the ground by about uh, three inches or put it on wheels that are three inches. That's, that's a design I always enjoy. And then another thing I would do is this wood would be really nice cherry. And then I would make um, a trash bin that would be kind of like that, you know, the same principle, only it would have like a custom hole, you know, a custom cavity for it to fit in so that when the, the, the waste bin is inside that cavity, it's like a real smooth, clean looking surface. surface. And then for drawers, for, you know, wine opener, wine key, that, that sort of thing, and, uh, and stuff, do a couple of drawers so that when they're closed, they're like real flush and then I would, to accentuate the thickness of this wood, this surface, I would just do a finger pull, like, which would be a hole in the drawer itself that you put your finger in to pull it and, and do it really nice and smooth. So when your finger goes in the hole and you're feeling for that edge to pull it out, it would be like really smooth and nice. So when you pull the drawers out, um, um, essentially it would be really nice wood so when you open it that wood would be like shimmery and shining and really pretty so that you'd have a couple of drawers and then possibly um, drawers with inserts that are made out of wood that do this and that would be for you guessed it for bottles of wine so a couple of drawers of bottles of wine and maybe one drawer for you know your odds and ends or both and then um, do say maybe two actual drawers with doors that open up that you can access whatever bottles um, you know that you want to keep on hand of, of whatever so 
that's my idea for that. Um, I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> I like it. It would be fun to do. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Hope you're well. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.